Our Steve's Paint Supply camera showing mostly wet conditions after some rain earlier in the downtown area, while the Monument area saw snow. It was a pretty good flurry up there yeah, for a while. Yeah, slowing down traffic for mm -hmm. sure between Monument and Castle Rock. Storm Tracker 13 Chief Meteorologist Mary Matthews is in now with a check on our small chance for accumulation uh, and when it could hit us. Mary. Yeah, it, you know, it's already moved through in northern El Paso County and just a few little uh, isolated snow showers are still going to be likely after 9 p.m. for the eastern sections of El Paso County later this evening. Uh, so first little rounds, maybe uh, if you haven't, you know, maybe if you've taken a nap. I don't know. Maybe you've been inside and you haven't peaked outside. We had a decent amount of snow move through uh, in northern El Paso County, Teller County, and now that is all changing over to uh, some showers here in the uh, Palmer Divide locations. Let's take you over to the local radar site, kind of show you uh, what is left of this uh, little batch of moisture uh, because areas around the airport are starting to get just uh, some heavier activity now moving off towards the east. Uh, most of this going around Fountain. <laughs> of course, if you're in Lawson Ranch or sure, some of those locations, you're probably getting just a few little light showers uh, in the region. Cripple Creek had a nice little dusting uh, close to about, uh, well, I think it was between about 4 and 4.30 uh, in Woodland Park. Also uh, seeing another little round of snow, some of that moving in uh, just around a fluorescent. The radar beam getting over Pikes Peak sometimes gives us uh, not the best data. Uh, that is sometimes why we use more of this composite radar uh, to kind of show you this next little wave that's coming through. You can see that around Lake George and fluorescent. Uh, what I want you to focus on, though, is back across parts of the western slope. This is our next little wave of moisture coming through and that will move through after 9 p.m. this evening. So another little secondary round likely for the Pikes Peak region uh, as we shift into the overnight hours tonight. We're going to talk about that. I want to show you the upper level pattern first. Uh, let's take you over to that and you'll notice this uh, vigorous trough that's been stationed across our area for the entire week uh, will start to finally lift off towards the high plains of North Dakota by the weekend. That's going to build in this nice little area of high pressure which just means we're going to have nice sunny conditions for the weekends as early as tomorrow. It's going to be nice sunny. It's going to be brisk and breezy, uh, but temperatures are going to start to warm back up, and that's the key message for the weekend. Uh, so most of the moisture will finish up tonight and will continue to clear out. Uh, let's take you through the forecast model really quickly here. Again, some of those showers and thunderstorms are racing across the eastern plains. Uh, most of that activity uh, will start to move through parts of Los Animas, Fowler, La Junta, and Lamar uh, from about 7 to 10 p.m. this evening. Uh, any embedded rumbles of thunder, encompassing a little bit of lightning and maybe some gusty winds, that is about it. There's that secondary round coming through between midnight and 3 a.m. Looks like it's going to just uh, really clip parts of northeastern El Paso County around and Simla that could yield another little light dusting on some of those grassy surfaces. But if you have areas with bridges and overpasses right around your home here in South Central Elbert County and Northeastern El Paso County and roads are still damp in the morning with temperatures in the teens and 20s, our roads may be just cold enough for those elevated surfaces to be a little bit slick, uh, and, but we don't anticipate any widespread travel issues tonight or tomorrow across uh, really any of southern Colorado. Uh, temperatures again will be in the upper 30s tonight, but areas across the southeastern plains, mostly a little bit of rain and light snow. Grassy surfaces is where those accumulations will stay, if any at all. Uh, so again, most locations drying out pretty quickly by Friday. Plenty of sunshine on tap. Here's what left with some of that snowfall that secondary round coming through this evening anywhere between an inch to an inch and a half. I think that's overdoing it just a bit from what doesn't melt as you wake up tomorrow morning. Because remember, even though the air is going to be cold tonight, the ground is a little bit warmer. So a lot of this is melting on contact temperatures in the 30s and 40s for Teller County tomorrow. So even though we're going to increase that sunshine, it's just not going to help us warm up all that much. That cold air advection and those northwest winds coming in, uh, it's just going to make it feel pretty darn chilly tomorrow. Temperatures in the 40s in the Wet Mountain Valley, Beulah Valley at 54 and Canyon City in the upper 50s, along with Pueblo and the southeastern plains around Lamar, Los Animas, La Junta, Kim, Springfield in the upper 50s to low 60s. Our temperatures recovered just a bit tomorrow night, so not quite as chilly. Uh, we're going to be sub freezing tonight all across the region, uh, but we gradually start to warm back up into the weekend and look at this Saturday into the 60s to near 70 degrees, so very nice and comfortable. That means Woodland Park uh, going to be nice and seasonal for the weekend. Plenty of sunshine. We do look for a weak disturbance early next week for Woodland Park. Right now, the track of that system doesn't look all that favorable for precipitation, but it will cool us down again into the 40s for Woodland Park next week. Pueblo 50s and 60s for the next few days. Boy, we escalate quickly into the 70s by Sunday. 
of the upcoming weekend. So a beautiful weekend to be out and about. Very nice and pleasant, comfortable. You want to leave those windows open into the overnight hours? Well, maybe that's a little aggressive. Uh, maybe next week. Maybe next week that's better. I'm getting a little excited. <laughs> Colorado Springs. <laughs> Temperatures in the low 50s tomorrow. Upper 60s and low 70s. Look, you know, secret to life is if you can laugh at your own jokes. That's what matters, right, Heather? I agree. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta have a sense of humor, right? All right, Mary, thank you. A strong earnings report from some of the country's top 